Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? My channel is Turquoise Dreaming. Come on into my craft room and let me show you what I have for you today. I'm so glad you're here. So on Saturdays I've been bringing you little bundles that I've put together from my shop. And so I have three bundles for you today. So exciting. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed putting these together. So uh, can you see? Well, here's one, two, and three. So we're going to go through these real quick. This will be uh, hopefully a quick video. Let me move two of them over. So we'll have room to go through each one. And so this is the first one. This is a kind of a has a lot of little pieces in it, but of a lot of pieces, but a lot of you know papers and little pieces. And this is taken from this week, past week's thrifty, thir um, you know, thrifty Thursday video on Thursday. So this is my thrifty Thursday bundle, and some past thrifty Thursdays. So. Um, we're not going to, I'll um, count the pieces when I put it in my shop while this video is uploading. I'll be putting the, doing the listings for the Etsy, but when you see this video, they will be in my shop. So, the first thing here are some little flashcards. There's four of those. Hope everyone's having a good day and going to have a nice weekend. Um, there's a lot of pinks in here, so I had brought this beautiful new, and it's not new, but it's unopened pack of pink rickrack. It says 31 pink right there and you see it okay it's a pretty pink and so I put that in here I did I have been putting these um, these uh, you know cling stamps in here uh, and you know I have a few that I've never used that I got with a subscription uh, quite a few years ago now and I would get this I got the subscription for a year so for once a month for 12 years I got 12 of them and each one came with a little set of like this cling stamps or whatever and uh, I didn't use them I just I do have cling stamps that I used you know that I have kept of course and I have a lot of wood stamps but uh, I just didn't use all of these and so you know I've been decluttering and reorganizing so anyway I put this one in here it's a pretty cool one it has a lot of little like this is a, a row of stars this is another row of something here and then you know little rows of something a moon a stars scissors a pencil and some words completed overdue for the record so good <laughs> so they're cute i just you know i just you know i don't i use rubber stamps but not like a ton so i just don't i just if i'm not going to use them i don't want to uh, be storing them just you know this is not a storage facility <laughs> this is my craft room so so I put that one in there brand new never used this I picked up from BB craft and uh, I wanted to see what it was and what I might do with it and I have another one too this one has the keychain on it so uh, what I thought I would do I'm going to keep the other one for now and see if I use it but it's on elastic you can use it just like this it's meant to you know go on your arm and you have your keys and you know you don't maybe like when i go thrifting i have one with a uh one that i made with a you know it's called a wristlet and then i uh, have my keys on there so i can put my keys on my arm and i'm just looking and i don't have to hold my keys or take my person i just take this when i'm thrifting not this but you know in my wristlet keychain have that on my wrist and I put my credit card now I used to take my phone and my credit card with my credit card in it in my pocket so I'd have my hands free now I got a different phone case so I just take my credit card that I'm used going to use to pay and this so I have no uh, baggage <laughs> to take care of or keep track of and I'm not going to lose my keys because they're on my arm so anyway just all that to say it's handy if you want to use it just like this so then I put some of these uh these, uh, I'm going to call it Disney Princess Invitations in here. They're so pretty, and I got them to use in uh, possibly a Disney, Disney Princess, uh, like, junk journal or any kind of Disney journal I would put them in, uh, you know, or any little book, golden book journal, just so many things. But I think they're really pretty. They have a little scalloped edge up here on this, this front cover on the bottom and top, and they're probably pretty new, but I think they're just really, really pretty. So, so four of those and the envelopes that came, let me put that over there. Four of the envelopes came, that came with those two because, uh, and they're yellow. So yeah, four cards and four envelopes. Oops, that's a little shape. So this past week I showed you my Thrifty Thursday where I had picked up those. 
It was at there. I think they're from the Dollar Tree, but they're at the thrift store and I picked them up. I wanted to see what they're all about. So I put some of those in here and I, I punched them all out, all those letters. And I used, I'm going to show you how I used the extra bits that were around the letters, you know, the extra bits. So I put some of the, a couple of the extra bits in here. The, this is one, I know it's just a little thing, but you can do stuff with it because I did stuff with it. I'm going to show you. Here's an I. So I'm going to put, I put a word in here. I'm going to show you just a second <laughs> the word I put in here. So here is another little shape. Here is a D. See, it's, the, it's pretty. It's white on the back. It's like thick, like cardstock. And it's yellow with white polka dots. So, and here's a K. Oops, there's like, see that? I had to punch them out. There's a little extra piece of paper there. I'll get that off. There we go. So the K. And here's the word I put in here. The word hi. <laughs> I put a word in here for you. So that would be cool to put in a journal. The word hi somewhere, right? Or use it however you want. I'm just saying I did put a word in here. <laughs> the word hi. Uh, one of these green bows. I put this in one of my Thrifty Thursdays. I mean, my bundles recently. I don't know if that one's still in my shop or it's sold. But uh, anyway. That's, I think that's my last one. I think I put them in my baby bundles, which still might be in my shop if you need a baby bundle of a journal, junk journal goodies for a journal, to make a journal. I have a couple, one or two in my shop. These are Balder Dash score sheets, vintage, and you can use them as a whole, or they have a perforation here that you can separate these in. Really cute, they'd be cute little slips to slip into a journal. So that, uh, four of these long, narrow, uh, flash cards for a little book. This is Farm Pets. This was in my Thrifty Thursday a couple weeks ago. It, I haven't wiped it down or anything. And I just, I barely had time to get these bundles together. So <laughs> I did not have time to wipe it down or anything. But if I don't wipe it down before it goes, just wipe it down, see if it comes any cleaner. And it's just, it's, a, it's an old vintage book, you know, and it's super cute. I mean, look at these little images and here's the inside. It's uh, not coming apart, I don't think. No, it's not coming apart, actually, so you could keep it as a book if you would like or take it apart and make a little journal. But look at these cute little, you know, use the pages separately if you want. Cut, make, do some fussy cuts. This one has tape on it, so you get yourself some old tape there, too. What a bargain, right? <laughs> some old brown tape. So that... And then these are from the books I brought home this past week. I think it's upside down. Oh, here's another little that can be used for another. Oh, it's kind of oval. Let's say it can use, be used for a dot on your eye there, that, the high. The word high. That, oh, here's another one. Oh, let me show you real quick before I show you the book pages. This is what I did with the extra bits from, uh, from I hope you can see them in here, uh, from the punching out those letters. You know, you just punch them out as far as, you know, punch them out. You know what I mean, right? So see all the little uh, yellow with white polka dot butterflies there? That's what I did with all the extra part that was around the letters. And any little, sometimes like in a word, there'd be a little punch out, like in an A, you know, and you have a little triangle there. So if I could punch out butterflies, I did. And I used all those. So I wouldn't have that sitting around. And I didn't want to just throw it away without making the most, most out of it. So I made little butterflies like that. Aren't they cute? So that's my butterfly bin. <laughs> so got lots of butterflies. I already have lots of butterflies. Now I have a few more. I want to show you that real quick. So then uh, the books that I had this past week, I had the Raggedy Ann and uh, Strawberry Shortcake. So I've got, I think I put 10 pages from each book, uh, each style book. So this is Raggedy Ann. I'm just going to show them real quick so you can see. I, uh, there was some with writing, but not in here. I kept the ones with writing on them, and I will, in both the books, if there was any writing, I didn't put them in here as far as I know. I tried to put book pages in here that didn't have any writing. They are old, they were, you know, old books. Now this one has, I see a little scrape there. Hold on. Let me see, is it? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's a little wear spot, like it's coming through. Somehow, I don't know what, I didn't do anything to it. Like, it almost looks like somebody maybe tried to erase something off of there or had a piece of tape there and tore it off. I don't know, but it's not. There's a little tiny hole right there, and it is a little, like, scrape mark there, but I think it's still 
very, very usable. So uh, are there any tears? I see something right here. It's getting, it's, I don't want to like make it worse, but there's a little tiny tear on this page right here at the top right there. But this, this was a very, like it wasn't a little golden book. It was just a Raggedy Ann and Andy book. Very old. Like uh, one of these was from 1968. It might've been this one. So those are from the Raggedy Ann, that very old Raggedy Ann book. And these are from the Strawberry Shortcake book. So this was the first page that I showed you. And when I showed it to you, I said it almost looks like, I think I said it almost looks like scrapbook paper. So yeah, that's, I, I just think this is beautiful. So I put that in there and now it is kind of grungy on the back. And this one, here's, this is the copyright. This is the 19, this one's 1984. So that must've been, the Raggedy Ann must've been the 1968 one. This one's 1984. But uh, yeah, these are strawberry shortcakes. So you get all the little strawberries there. And grungy, a little grungy on the back, but it's not torn or written on. And again, I kept the written on pages and gave you the best pages. Just one second. Sorry, someone came in the door and I didn't want to, you know, a bunch of noise in the background. But uh, yeah, here's the rest of the strawberry, aren't they cute, shortcake pages. So I believe I put 10 of each of the books that I used. There's three books, 10 each, 10 pages from each. So that's 30 pages. You know, just one page, not counting the front and back or anything like that. So, oh, this one does have a little bit of writing right there. Oh, this one does too. Shoot. <laughs> I, um, let's see. Let me put that over there. Let's see if I can find one that doesn't have any, two to replace that that doesn't have any writing on it. Let me see. I got, I have the books right here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, this was the other page. That one doesn't have any writing on it, and I was going to see if I can replace. See, here's what I kept. Like, this has a big line of writing, but no writing on this side. So, you know, I can totally use that myself, but that's one I kept for myself. This one had writing on it. Uh, see, that has a little check. Let me see if I can find one, two, to replace that one that has that writing. Uh, this one is okay. It has a little spot right there, though. See, it was a little bit hard because this did, book did have some writing in it. This one's a nice, but this is just the title page, so it's not much, you know. This one has writing. <laughs> you see what I mean? It was a little hard to find one without writing. So, okay, this one doesn't have any writing. This one doesn't have any writing. Okay, here's two right here. Okay, so I'm going to just take this page off that one has writing and this one doesn't have any writing uh, nope I don't see any writing so I'm replacing that one that I found that I put in there this one where was the right see it's hard to even see it but right there's a little bit of writing no writing on this page because I, I could have separated that but anyway there's two with as far as I could tell and see and you saw it too <laughs> no writing on the pages and there's ten like I said ten of each so let me put those over to the side out of my way so this was the math book I showed you on Thrifty Thursday. I put 10 pages from that. And so there's like some text here. And I, I like this uh, blue kind of space there. So I've got one, two, three. And then uh, kind of like the pages with the text and this blue block. So three there. And then some more pages with the math kind of diagrams and things on them, which is... Um, what I like too. So it was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you see what I mean? Uh, ten of each. And if you if you're if you're seeing these for the first time and you're seeing like this right here, the that blue circle or something that looks like writing, it's not writing. It's teachers. This was a teacher's edition. So they have little circles and things in here that almost look like writing when I first saw it. I was like, oh, somebody wrote in here. But no, it's uh, the teacher's notes that, uh, you know, that the uh, teacher's edition is pointing out for the teacher to uh, maybe emphasize or something. So that is that bundle. Uh, yep, that is that bundle. So you can see what I mean by there's quite a few pieces, um, even though maybe it looks, it looks, the camera like a small bunch of goodies it's actually a lot of goodies they're just a lot of small 
and flat things. So that's the second one. Oh, that's the first one. I've only showed you one so far. I need to get moving. <laughs> okay, the second one. I'm going to put this all in one. So I went through my book covers. And um, this is going to be as cheap as I can make it. Uh, I'm not going to charge too much for this. But uh, I would like to get a little bit for it. And then, um, you know, the shipping plus the shipping. So uh, it's not too heavy really considering... So anyway, I went through, I have a lot of book covers and I'm, you know, been reorganizing and I was like, I'm going to have to part with some of these book covers because I just can't keep them all. So there's some nice stuff in here, I think, and things that I would have eventually done something with if I had the room to store them and the time. <laughs> but I've got two of these little, um, there were like envelopes in here, like that look like, almost like airmail envelopes. And I think these, I thought these covers were really cool too. So you can make a little kind of horizontal, narrow journal. But see the little the spine here? Got these strings in it. And I thought it was kind of a cool thing. Or you could take it apart and make a bigger spine or whatever. But anyway, there's two of those. They're different, but same, similar. Found it, you know, everything here I found at thrift stores. Here's the back of these. There's my price <laughs> sticker. Those peel off. Oh, that's another price sticker. They should peel off with no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll let, I'll, I might take those off before I mail it if it gets purchased. But uh, yeah, they just usually peel off. Uh, not that you're going to use it like in this condition either. You might want to cover this up if you actually make a journal, a little journal or something out of this. A little photo album, a little mom's brag book or grandma's brag book would be cute. Yeah, that just peels right off of there. So I'll get the other one off before I mail it. But um, two of those. And uh, this little composition book I'm going to put in here. The whole thing. Cool cover. Very vintage. Here's the back with this cool chart. Multiplication table. And it's got clippings in here from, I don't know what, magazines? Probably. But isn't that cool? Somebody made this a little like scrapbook. This might be newspaper, not sure, magazine. But yeah, this is going along with this. And then you have some blank paper back here. And it's, as you can see, very uh, naturally aged. It probably was white at one time. So yeah, you get the clippings, look at the car. <laughs> I didn't do this. This is how I found it at the thrift store. Isn't that cool? So yeah, and this cover, uh, I would kind of like to make this into a journal, like back it with something and cut it down to be a nice journal cover and make a spine. This could be the back and that would make a really cool and unique type of journal. But um, yeah, I just can't keep all the covers. Uh, this is Donna Parker Mystery at uh, Arrowack. Anyway, old vintage book cover. It's a part. And I don't know what I did with the pages, <laughs> but they're gone. And it has some tape and stuff on it, so you get the idea. This is another cute cover. I thought it was pretty cute. It's got a little sticker. I didn't put that there. It's just how, how it came. Uh, it needs to be wiped down if you're going to make it into a journal. Probably I would wipe it down. But it's an old, you know, recover the inside here. Make a new spine. Wipe this down or cover it up. I mean, sometimes you, I, usually I use plain uh, book covers if I'm going to cover up the whole thing. But, you know, if you didn't like the cover, you could cover it up and just use that as your backing. You know, your chipboard. Uh, there's two uh, pretty cool, what I think are pretty cool, vintage music, you know, music covers. So this is one here. Here's the inside. See, it was taped together when I got it like that, you know. Uh, somebody really loved this enough to keep it, even though it was coming apart, and tape it up. So you got some old, what looks like masking tape there. <laughs> and and that cover, it's a, from a drum. It's a drum, drum music. And then here's another drum music, it looks like. Bongo. <laughs> so very unique uh, cover there. This one's old, not coming apart like that one. It was had staples in it. But that one probably did it too, but it just was worn away probably. And here's a nice one. Kind of, it has a little squirrel right here. It's, uh, looks like this. You could use this one just like this if you wanted to. 
it's not that wide either. It's what uh, I'm trying to tell you real quick here. I don't want to run out of time. But uh, and I wanted this to be quick. Didn't I say quick? <laughs> it's going to be quick. Six inches wide. So actually a nice width. And then uh, so you could use 12 by 12 paper in here. Or 8.5 by 11. And, and be good. About 9 and 1 quarter inches tall. Six inches wide. Yeah. So... And the next one is from an old um, kids or children's music book. So this is really nice. I like the color Happy Singing. Got a little pen there that might come off or that might be pencil. I'm not even sure. But like I said, I haven't wiped any of these, da these down, tried to scrub them or clean them or anything. So I haven't done anything with them except for take the pages out. There's the spine. So you could use it just like this. It's all connected. And... Uh, that these are actually cool pages here with the music notes on them. Uh, this is from York, Yorktown Heights, New York. <laughs> so yeah, not even from North Carolina where I where I live. <laughs> this is a nice cover here, butterflies and moths. And here's the inside, just plain. It's got a spine which is not disconnected at all. And so yeah, it could be used like just like this, or you make a new spine. But that is a pretty cover. That's a pretty butterfly cover. Yep, that's a nice one, nice one. You see why I kept them, right? <laughs> and then this one, this is from a gooseberry patch. It's kind of large, and uh, yeah, uh, there's the inside, totally connected, it looks like. There's the back. That almost looks like scrapbook paper, scrapbook uh, size, you know, like, I know it's bigger, that 12 by 12 is the normal scrapbook, but this looks like a small scrapbook cover. Which could be actually cool. So, yeah, there is things you can do with all of these. And this one, I don't know if I'm going to put this one in here. This is from a 1940s baby book. Uh, I try. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put this one in here, actually. I guess I put it in here because I thought, I don't know. If you want it, like, let me know. If you, if you see this video and you want to order this bundle of book covers, if you want this, let me know. I'm not going to put it in the pictures or the listing. But this is from a 1940s baby book. And I took all the pages out. You know, I made, made my Mimi's journal with these. And I still have a few of the pages. But it has a nice poem here. Here's the inside. I um, painted the outside yellow. It was this uh, color here. Kind of a light bluish gray. See that right there? It was that color. And uh, I was trying to do something with it. I painted it yellow. You can see it through it here a little bit. And I, they were, this was on here like embossed. And I was trying to paint them. And it just didn't come out nice. I didn't like it at all. So it could be painted over again. It could be covered up. Whatever. But I'm not going to put it in there. Because it just, right, I'm looking at it. It's like, oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Still, I didn't like it. I still don't like it. You know, I'm never going to like it the way it is. And so if you want this cover and you order this, let me know and I will put it in there. But it is, it is 1940s. It's very old and it's got a little cut through the spine right there. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to put it in there, but if you want it, let me know. So that is, uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> one more. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm done, don't I? Uh, okay, so one more. This one's mostly fabric and, and stuff like that. So, uh, real quick, I've got a little bag of buttons here. These are some large buttons and a couple smaller ones in here. But these are the ones I won from someone in uh, YouTuber where I won her giveaway. And she is in, I think I said the wrong country last time, but I believe it was Sweden. These are from Sweden. And they're old, very old when she um, talked about her giveaway. They were like very, very old, like antique buttons, not just like vintage, but antique buttons. So they're very old and very cool and very, you know, old and very, I just, I think they're so cool because they're so old. <laughs> I mean, I, I have vintage buttons, but I don't know how many of them are actually antique buttons. Okay. And I've got a strand of this from a doily in here. I put things in here that you, I thought you could use with the fabrics possibly if you were making a journal. So that's from a doily. This is from a doily. This I've been putting in, I always say you can make pockets, you know, cut this apart, pocket, 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 or this way, pocket, cut these off and use it, cut it up and use it in your slow stitching or your, your clusters. And then here's a beautiful hanky here. It's so delicate. 
So it's got some embroidery here. It's all white with white embroidery and this beautiful tatting around the outside. Isn't that gorgeous? I love tatting. It's so delicate usually and looking and pretty. So yeah, you can cut that apart if you would like or use it as a whole. And so that, and then here's a piece of a tablecloth, kind of ecru color, good size piece here. And you can cut this apart. You've got fabric and then this part here, little squares. You can use this square as a whole or cut these into individual squares. Just a lot, when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I can do a lot with that. And I have used some of it myself. I've got a pattern in here and it has the tissue and has the tissue and the instructions and no flap. You know, it's it's pretty old. It was 125 whenever that price was probably 70s or something. It kind of looks like a little 70s uh, rompers, right? <laughs> Look at that. That's so, so cute. And then this one is kind of cut work from maybe a tablecloth. I don't remember what I took this off of. But it's got this cut work part here and this nice crocheted trim on the on the uh, you know around the sides and it can be it's white but it can be coffee dyed or colored any color you would like to color it but uh, i think that's really handy and pretty and then the fabric so i put fabrics together out of those uh fabrics i've showed you quite a few weeks ago now but uh, i made a my bird journal out of this type of uh, kind of like it feels like upholstery type fabric. It's heavy like this is this is pretty heavy So like when I do a listing like this it, the shipping might look like a lot if it it probably will look like a lot, but it's uh, You know, it's just because this fabric is so thick and heavy. So it, it is what it is, right? So anyway good size chunks. I didn't cut these up. This is just the way I got it from the thrift store That's the back. This is the front and I put uh colors together in this bundle that I thought could be used for fall, right? So yeah, that's where you see all these greens and oranges and different kind of fall looking colors here, but that's one. Here's another one. See, they're all good size. I need to get going because my time's running out here and my camera's going to cut off. But that one, I'm not going to unfold them all because I'm probably going to run out of time. So I'm just going to go, you can take my word for it, that they are just like you saw, good size pieces. This one's this color. I'll just unfold it a little bit because you got to see the beauty on these, right? <laughs> so gorgeous. That one, see how I what I mean by fall colors. This one's a little lighter. It's got some pink in there, but totally beautiful and a ton of fabric. This one has some beautiful birds. Gorgeous. There's a little chunk cut out right here. I didn't do that. It was like, that's how I got it. But you've got plenty to work with there. And this one has butterflies, beautiful. And this one has this kind of almost paisley look, but it's got greens and beautiful colors. And this one is like the one I did with my bird journal. So it has butterflies and it has the bird here. I used the piece that had the blue on it and this piece has the red on it. And so that's just like, this is just like, you know, it has the postage and stuff marks on there. So it's just like the one I used for my bird journal, except the color is different. So that is my three bundles. When you see this video, they will be in my shop today. And I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed getting them together. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Have a great day.